You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and uh, we're lucky because today the other toys in the Amazing Spider-Man 2 series arrived. And this is the boy toys, and we showed you all the girl toys, so maybe we'll bring those back. I'm not sure, but right now, um, let's go over the toys, and you've seen the boxes in another video. And I forgot on the girls' toys to check the other apps, so I'm going to have to do it at the end of this video. But uh, if you want to see the boxes and everything about those, then that'll be in a previous video. This one here is uh, Toys 1 through 8. Now, Toy 3, we already did, so I could take that one out. And then that was the car. It's called the Spider-Man Light-Up Vehicle. So let me get these all out of here. Try to keep them in order. And start from number 1. It's always good to start from number 1. Let's see. This is called Spider-Man Light-Up Figure. Let's see, no instructions in there. And there's a plastic piece on the back, which, you know, keeps it from lighting up. And what lights up? Ooh, his eyes light up. Check that out. All right. So the number three toy lights up. So what I'll probably do is I'll wait to get them all out of the packaging, and then I'll turn off the lights and show you the toys in more detail. But, oh, I moved him too far away. This is what I wanted to do. So you can see him up close a little better. So there is number one. And let's turn him, let's just see what moves. Arm moves, head no, arm yes, leg no. So just his arms. And you need that for the balance it looks like. To stay in that position. And there's his back. All right. Let's just look at the bottom of his feet, just to see. So they're, uh, like, hollowed out a little bit on the bottom. All right, pretty cool. Number one. Well, let's put number one over there. Let's go to number two. All right, number two. This is... This one is, let's see. Electro light-up figure. All right, Electro. I think in the last comments, people have seen the movie, so I didn't, I didn't know it was out when it came out. If there's any been... Special previews, so another back protector. He's got a tran ooh, translucent head. Check that out. Arms move, and ooh, the head does turn slightly. Let me just set him there, and we'll zoom in if he stands up. Yes, he does. Let's get in a little closer there. All right. So number two, Electro. We'll turn him a little bit. There you go. I turn it like this so that you can pause and enlarge the video. You can go HD and go full screen and get a really nice shot. Alright, so that is number two. Lights up. This head lights up. Which almost lights up his fingertips. That's cool. And number three... I had in the box here, so we'd open that one in another video, and this one also uh, lit up, turned it on on the bottom, and it lights up on the top section, so we've seen that one in another video, but we'll check it out one more time in case I didn't show it good enough then, and it rolled really good. And my light's a little dim. I think after that video, I forgot to turn it off. There was the bottom of that. And the top. I like the car. Okay, number four. Number four. This is, let's see. Trading card tin. Hmm, trading cards. That might be kind of cool. I'm not going to be fooled into thinking that it's packed with trading cards. And then I wonder if there's more or less trading cards. Or if you can actually trade them. So we have the lizard. Let's see the lizard. And then his alter ego, the occupation, the height, the weight, the powers, ability, cause of mutation. Let me, do, let me just uh, put that in the tin. There's nothing on the bottom of the tin, but... That's the top, the lid. Okay, let me put that in there. 
And the next one is Electro. So that's the one we had in the figure. And let's check out Electro. Okay, Alter Ego, Maxwell Max Dillon. His height, his weight, his powers, his ability, and his cause of mutation. Hmm. That goes in the nice tin. And then Spider-Man uh, Electro. Okay. So, Spider-Man versus Electro. Once an adorning fan of Spider-Man, humble technician Max Dillon had a shocking accident in one of Oscorp's laboratories. Now, Max has been transformed into supervillain Electro, and that adoration is now gone. The sparks are really going to fly when these two meet face-to-face. -face. Ooh. And the next one, the last one, is Spider-Man. So if you got this tin, did you get the same cards? Um, calling them trading cards would, uh, uh, would make me believe there's more. So you can trade them with other people. Now if everybody gets the same cards, then, you know, there's a lot of trading going on, is there? So Spider-Man and an alter ego, eyes, hair, height, weight, powers, ability, cause of mutation, and his nicknames. One of them is Spidey. Alright, so that's the tin. Okay. So that was number... Ooh, see, I left the car on again. Four. So number five... Number five looks really interesting. It's a wind-up spider. That's got to freak some people out. I think it could pass, possibly. If you put it somewhere in a cabinet or... Yeah, look at that. This might be everybody's favorite. So it winds up on the top. I mean, that, you know, that's a dead giveaway. But if it dropped like that, that might scare somebody. Okay, here we go. Not moving too hot. I'll try to wind them up till I hear a click. You know, if my countertop maybe is not the right surface, I'm not sure. Oh, there he goes. He's moving now. He's moving off camera. Okay. Not bad. The wind up spider. Let's put him there. And number six. Let's check out number six. Spidey spinning top. Hmm. Spidey spinning top. Aha. It's like a wizard top again. Can we just see these in another series? Make the tips spin as fast as possible. Okay. There we go. That's cool. All right, it's just a little bit off balance, so it gives you that interesting spin. Now let's check out Spidey. He's kind of like in a shooting web position. Kneeling down. Blue base with a spider web on top. All right. That was number six. Whoa. Number seven. Let's see. Number seven. Number seven is the Spider-Man Specs. The Spider-Man Specs. Hmm. Let's see about these. Let's check these Spider-Man Specs out. Okay, so the plastic is holding these together. What do you think about that? Hmm. Interesting. Spider-Man specs. Would you wear those out in public? When would you wear these? Okay. Oh, so they cl they kind of lock in and out on that last point. So there, there's the back of them. Imagine wearing them here. You're the one wearing them looking out of your 
Spidey Specs. Camera's going to have a hard time with that. Unless I put something up here. Okay. Not much to go on those, but it is pretty neat. Spiderweb's kind of cool on the front. And let's move on, because there's not much there to see on that set. And it's number eight. It's the Spider-Man Activity Book. Now, we had an Activity Book in the Girls series, didn't we? Let's see what kind of activity. So you get a sticker sheet. All right, let's see. Sticker sheet. Got Electro on it. Spiders and all. And Spider-Man all kinds of poses. And then the book, which kind of neat on the back. That kind of matches that trading card, doesn't it? Here's the front. Amazing Spider-Man. So another this book belongs to. That was just like the other one. Oh, this one's got a maze. And then what is Spider-Man's real name? And then you either move the words, letters around and spell it out through the web. Oh, this one, yeah, different than the girls, because I don't remember all this in the girls' journal book. Draw yourself as a superhero. Amazing spider maze. Draw a spider. So you got the grid here to help you do the lines. So, hidden words. Find the names and words hidden in the letters to the right. Those are always fun to do. Here, can you do it? Can you find them all? Rhino, Spidey, Peter, Amazing, Electric, Hero, Web. So coloring fun, so you can color this. Hidden Spidey. How many times can you find the word Spidey in the puzzle? There you go. Spidey. S-P-I-D-E-Y. That one looks challenging. Count the Spideys. Count how many Spider-Man faces you see below. Okay. Web shooter. Play with a friend or family member. Take turns drawing a web line between two dots, horizontal and vertical, or vertical. When someone completes a square, write their initial in the box. When all the boxes have been completed, the player with the most initials wins. That's interesting. How many words? How many words can you make using the letters in The Amazing Spider-Man? I get it. There's a maze. Connect the dots. That completes his mask. Complete the Spidey, so another grid drawing. Decode the message. Circle every third letter, then write down the circle letters on the lines below to reveal the secret message. Okay, another coloring. Sticker fun. Use the stickers to make a spidey scene. Ah, so you could take these stickers now and stick them around here. That's cool. Cool, I keep using the word cool. Web shooter. So again, you can combine the uh, lines and put initials and then a message decoder. Decode the message by using the symbol keys below. Symbol key below. Wow, there's a lot in this book. Another maze. A four in a row game. Spot the differences between the two. Ooh, there are five differences. A couple are real easy. Almost too easy. The first three you could see right away. Symbol reveal. Use the symbol key to reveal the answers to the questions. So in what city does Spider-Man live? And it starts with a smiley N, and then a pound sign, E. A dollar sign would be W, right? Okay. So if you want to do those, go ahead. The web shooter, so there's another one. Connecting the dots, a tic-tac-toe. Wow, look at all these. Spot the differences. Now that one looks a little, maybe a little more challenging. The spider web maze, so there's another maze. Message decoder, another decoder. Name scramble. Another maze. Another coloring section, and the last page is another maze. Wow, there's a lot in that book. And you just got to see it all. So that's the eight toys. Let me regroup here. Uh, show you the ones that light up, and then we'll move on to the app, and then maybe just show both sets together. Okay, here we are in the dark. I have Spidey and Electro. There's Spider-Man. And there's Electro. Let me see if I can get the car in here. It's hard to see. Turn it on. Okay. So that's going to be hard to focus on that. It's going to have a hard time. Let's see if it can. It's just not bright enough to... There we go. 
Okay, that's in the back. This is going to really throw it for a loop now. See, I still have that book there. See, it's a book. Okay, let's move the car out. There is a whole video just on that car. So let the camera rethink here. Ooh, that's the... Ooh, check that out. That's straight into the lens. Let's see if Spidey Head does that. Do, 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 focus. Come on, camera, there you go. No, because his eyes are the... Ooh, look into Spidey's eyes. They're getting closer. Look at that eyeball. Camera focus. All right. I still think that's uh, pretty neat seeing him in the dark like that. Especially that one. Looks like a flashlight. It's like his head flashlight. Look at that. All right, so it's time to move on to the app. I think that's all the lighted one, those three. So let's do that next. All right, so here we go. I just started it. Uh, yeah, I see all kinds of fingerprints. I wipe it down, and it seems like whoosh, everything happens. All right. Get my volume up. Let's start this here. See what's going on in the app department. All right, so these two are done. Ooh, it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Every one has its own app. Now, I don't know if it's going to give us different games. So, you've seen me scan these, and you know I struggle with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan a few now, and then I'll come back and we'll take a look. Unless I could just play them already. I know I can't see. I can't play that. So I'll come back, uh, scan a few, and we'll see what happens. All right, I am back. I scanned them, and uh, you know what? It probably took me about 20 minutes to scan them. And what I figured out is when I try to line them up just right, it takes a long time. But when I just kind of like haphazardly run it by... The uh, figure, it goes much quicker. So that was my experience. And the first two games we played, so the next one, uh, we the one we haven't played is Puzzle Power and Spider Sense. So let's check those out. So Puzzle Power. Uh, here we go. Play. Ooh. Repeat the pattern to defeat Electro. Okay, let's see. So am I tapping them or? Oh, I hit the wrong one already. New, now repeat the pattern. Try again. Yeah, I made it with... Okay, here we go. Got it. Okay. Let's see if they do more than three. Okay. I bet you this one starts at the center. That's what I was going to say. Now they're going to give me four. doing it. Oh, I'm almost there. One more. Play on. Uh, no, I don't think I do want to play on. Can I pause it? Ooh, run time error. Ooh, that's not good. Let me, uh, well, let me reset my phone here, or reset this app, and we'll come back and show you the next app. All right, so I just kind of stopped and restarted the app, and let's go to the last game. Uh, you know, I guess that's happened. I've had that happen with other games. So, Spider Sense Search. Let's see. How to play. Slide your finger across two items to switch places. Line up three of the same icons to clear them from the game board. Clear four or more and receive a special power item like milk or apples. Now, this is pretty much a... Standard type of game. I'm sure we've all seen it. And so we can just play and play. And let's see if we can do something bigger here. Oh, it's giving me hints. Hmm. Very familiar. Let's see. There's a four. Oh, so that cleared out most of that row. Awesome job. Next mission. 
All right, I'll do one more mission here. Was there L shapes there? Ooh. This way. There you go. There you go. I do like the sounds. They're like spider webs. You hear it? Like shooting webs. I'm in game concentration now. Come on. I have two moves left. I don't know what that does yet. The apple. I might have to, you know, touch it to another apple or something. Come on, where's my next move? Give me a move. There you go. One more move. There. Mission incomplete. Close game. All right. That's the app now. So let me get back to uh, the toys, because I think that was it. There's only the four games. Can't slide this. Oh, I don't want to do that. So all the toys, you scan all 16 toys, you get four games. All right. Does that make sense? So let's move on. Let me just set up all the toys. All right, there's the boys and the girls sets, and I'm sure you can tell which is which and what they're trying to do here. Um, I think they're pretty cool. Now, we had some people say, lame girl toys, not cool, but I still think the postcard set, my favorite in the girl stuff, and this uh, flip-down comb I thought was pretty neat. In the boys, you know, I really like the spider, and probably... The glowing head electro. That's pretty neat. There's a little flashlight. Now, I'm not sure. Did I show him good enough? Let me zoom in. Do you think that would scare somebody just quickly if it, you know, dropped in their lap or, you know, left it under their pillow? And that's what the bottom looked like on that. Let me wind them up one more time. And we do appreciate you watching these videos and commenting and subscribing and, you know, hanging out with Lucky Penny Shop. It does mean a lot to us. There we go. We'll leave you with that. And again, thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.